we've got the NFT table. This is kind of old school. We're just using them as beds now, it's kind of raised beds. So we use pebbles on them, which isn't ideal, but it works, you know. You basically put you put a bit of something down here, you know, it stops the pebbles from going into that. So this is a bed we just threw together. The onions are actually doing all right in there, which surprised us, but we just thought we'd give it a go and see what, what, what we get. This is celery that's gone to flower, but we're growing it for the seed because it's quite a good ingredient. There's some chard in there. There's some beetroot in pots. More celery at the back there. Celery going up there. There's some water coming out. That's my daughter making a fountain, I think, of this. Um, oh, we got an overflow. Now I'm going to put some nutrient in that, I think. But let me just show you this table. I love this table. This is this is Emma's table. This one here. It's a meter by uh, a meter. It's uh, plugged into that. There's a reservoir down here. And there's a reservoir. Those we had that last season. We had it on bubblers, I think it was. Now it's just you using it for the tank down there. So this has been fantastic, this bed. There's the tank. So I'll turn it on and you can see what happens. Water. It just fills this table. floods it and once it's flooded it starts going down through a there you can see it now just overflowing and running back into the tank so we don't have it on a timer but you know it's meant to have a timer on it but we just come down twice a day morning and evening um, turn it on there's a little chilly in there at the back it's doing quite well um, the marigolds are in there to, to keep the green flight away from from the tomatoes. But I see a slug trail there. Find that little bastard wherever he is. And uh, his days are done. So what have we got here? What's that? Is that column? Where is that? The eggs of something. Show that to my wife, she you know. Now let's just bend that around. Get rid of that. Didn't spot that one early enough, did I? Okay. Looking good though. Tomatoes, we've got beans growing up there on this cane. There they are. This baby's looking for some of the goat. Let's get you over there. Get in there with the tomatoes. We got some lovely tomatoes in there. We're opening. And we got strawberries here as well. But we put them in a bit late so we won't get anything off of them. Um, Chives, courgettes, just love it in here. They're like animals man, for this. Oops, bit of chard there. So you know you get the molder. You got to watch that. Look, see that moldy. See that baby there. Look at that. Look at that shape. Okay, we're back on this. So yeah, these are great. I'm going to turn that off now.
marigolds at the back there. So hopefully those little yellow dots weren't some form of... See that, that looks a bit mouldy to me now as well. Take that. Let me get there, see we've got end right there. There's a lot of growth, I should be thinning out some of that. That's just... Let me take that flower and I'm sure it doesn't want to let go. One here. Wow, that's crazy growth down here, man. See, there's a lot of, lot of mould there. Look, there's another soft one. I'll take them. Okay, signing out. Thank you. Bye-bye.